Hello, my name is Sven Nicholas, and I'm here today to talk to you about the oppression of Christians in America. Now, first off, I'd like to start with a note to the Christians of America. You are not being oppressed. Do you know why you are not being oppressed? Because you make up 84% of the country, right? You are vastly overrepresented in Congress, almost all the presidents have been Christian, and 50% of the people in America are creationists. The next largest group after Christians is atheists, making up about 10% of the population. The fact that you people are stupid enough to believe that a minority so small as the religiously unaffiliated could in any way oppress you is simply mind-boggling. And to quote the song Want You Gone by Jonathan Colton, it would be funny if it weren't so fucking sad. Now, something that a lot of Christians like to talk about around, you know, November, December, time of year is the war on Christmas and the war on Christianity. This is a, you know, bullshit PR stunt that Fox News pulls every year where they start, you know, shouting at atheists for trying to destroy America and because, like, we don't want Christmas decorations in public places because they're not allowed there. Like, because of, like, the Constitution and shit. And it's just something that I want, you know, the right-wing Christian dickwads of America to realize. And that is, there is no war on Christmas. There is a war on inequality. There is no war on Christianity. There is a war on tyranny. We are not fighting against your rights. We are fighting for our own. Do you know what there is a war on? There is a war on education. In America, what was founded as, and what still should be, the world's most secular nation, unscientific, unfounded, Bronze Age bullshit, is being taught to children who do not know any better. The children of America are being brainwashed to believe that science, truth, and beauty can't hold a candle to faith, conformity, and sexual oppression. But it is better to sit in a pew and have your brain filled with shit than it is to think critically and actually fucking do something. America was founded, despite what many of you believe, as a secular nation. Enshrined in the founding document of said nation is a separation of church and state, one that is in a sorry state of repair. America was not founded by, uh, by the Puritans, who were just a bunch of religious fanatics from England, who left so that they could go and oppress tribes in the New World. Your country was founded by a group of atheists, deists, and agnostics who wanted to create a nation where all beliefs were equal and everyone could come together and be accepted, where the rule was by the people and for the people. Groups like the Freedom From Religion Foundation and American Atheists are not hate groups out to destroy your nation and eat your babies. They are patriots. They are taking an unpopular stance, not necessarily because they want to, but because they believe that for America to be the greatest nation on earth, a land of opportunity and freedom. Everyone needs to be able to believe whatever they want to, and one person's interests should not be more important than another's. We atheists of all don't want to destroy you. We don't want to burn your holy books and sack your places of worship. We want to be equal. We want to be able to hold high political office, and we want to be able to have the same opportunities as everyone else. In conclusion, Christians of America, you are not being attacked. You are not being oppressed. You are attacking and you are oppressing. And could you please fucking not?